Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an update about what's on the bench. And I was able to make some progress on a couple of projects I have going on right now. The first of them being the Fast and Furious Chevelle. In the last video I had it pretty well finished, but was waiting on some parts to come from Hobby Lynch Pan. And they did arrive. You can see in here, I've got the steering wheel in place. And that's a photo etched set of spokes and center ring and then I scratch built the collar and the wheel rim itself. And I also added rear license plate and the SS emblem license plate that was seen in the movie. The rear license plate actually was never seen in the movie. Uh, that's just something that I based on where the car was located at the time and the plate number is Vin Diesel's birth date. So now this project is finished and ready to go in the collection with the rest of the Fast and Furious vehicles. I also started work on the second in the Circuit Wolf series, also from Dayusha. As simple as these kits are, I probably would have been finished with this one as well, except it's not quite as easy to go together as the Europa was. The biggest problem with it was the wheels. These are the stock wheels that came in it, and you can see that they were nowhere near large enough to fill the wheel openings. And so I replaced them with a set for my parts box, which had the added benefit of also being more accurate to what was shown in the series. I also opened up the hole in the hood for the fuel fill because, as per the kit, they just suggest that you put the fuel cap right on top of the bodywork, and that didn't look right to me, so uh, I took care of that. And I also gave it a coat of Tamiya TS8 Italian Red just to give it a little more oomph. Uh, the color as it came was a bit on the pinkish side, and it didn't quite look right. So at this point, I still need to add the lights, uh, the fuel fill, the mirror glass, and the detail here on the rear panel. But that's another one that should be done pretty quickly. And with these two cars either finished or very nearly finished, I'm finally going to be able to start work on my Furious 7 Charger. I'm going to be starting out with the off-road charger, as seen in the trailer. I think I've got all the parts collected for it, so starting next week I'll be uh, doing some progress updates on that. And even though they're not very detailed, I actually am enjoying these little kits, so I might do another one of those. I have the uh, Nissan Fairlady to build, as well as a couple of others that aren't from the Circuit Wolf series, but kind of follow that same mentality. So that's it for now. Check back next week when I'll be starting on something totally new. Thanks for watching.